Hey guys, it's Bashkin here, and today I'm talking about Call of Duty Ghost, and the gameplay that you're watching is my very first gameplay that I've ever recorded for Ghost. Actually, I'm showing you status and everything right now, as you see. Ghost, in the first two, three weeks that I've had it, have been amazing. Um, the sniping's perfect, it's not, um... You know, overrated, underrated. Uh, no scopes are, you know, good. Um, what I hate, though, is dogs. Now, before I talk about dogs, let me get on what I'm about to say, because I'm probably about to rage over the dogs. The sniper rifles, assault rifles, submachine guns, everything, um, they're equal. Um, SMGs, they're not the best. Just, the maps are, even the small maps are really big. SMGs are really not good on any map. It may be, may be Octane. Octane might be the only map that might be good enough for a submachine gun. LMGs, everything else, everything, even riot shields are actually pretty decent in this game. Now, I hate them when I'm trick shotting though, because they're, it's, it's in the way. Definitely in the way. But, uh, the little bits and pieces that they've added in the game is what I'm about to talk about. Um, dogs, dogs are, I like the idea. I like the idea that you have Riley, aka the support dog, on your team. When you get enough kills or points or however they did that system. I'm not real sure at this moment. But the dogs are I like I like the idea of the dogs. It makes you feel like you wanna you wanna get your pet and bring them into the game. You're like, I need I need um this amount of points to you know, get my dog and, you know, help get him to help me out. But what I hate is how the dogs kill you so fast. They're not just going to sit there while you're running from them, jump on your back and kill you immediately. I understand it's Call of Duty, but they should make it to like a, like a way where you can basically just press like a button combination and, you know, get the dog off of you and kill it or... Just, yeah, just basically kill it, because it's going to jump on you again if you don't kill it. So, like, the dogs are overpowered, honestly. You, you, you shoot a dog in the head with a freaking sniper rifle, and it does not die. But you shoot a guy in the head, and he dies immediately. It's like, nope, I'm done, goodbye. Respawn. But a dog that is way... Well, in, in way stronger, and not strong, and faster, not fast, and smarter, you know, whatever. The dog has a, you know, a vest on everything, but a head, you shoot them in the head, they just, they should die. And in this case, the dogs just keep running at you. They just, they're, they're like mini juggernauts for like four or five kills, which is not really that fair. But... You know, let's throw dogs away real quick. Um, I want to go ahead and talk about, like, uh, trick shotting and air support. Trick shotting. Anybody that's seen content, everybody knows trick shotting for me. Wrist twist, uh, zoom loads, uh, variations, the, uh, multi, uh, throwing knife cancel shot. Montage has been made, all that. So, I mean, you guys know what montages and trick shots look like. I will have an annotation or link in the description on my first uh, chilltage on Ghost. So if you want to go check that out just to see what a sample of trick shotting is in this game, then uh, yeah, the link will be in the description. But the trick shotting's amazing. That's really all I have to say about it. Quick scoping, um, I'm, I'm not used to it yet. I'm just gonna be straight up about that. I am not really used to it at all. But, I've seen, you know, Plage, uh, Outcast, and a few others, um, you know, bring out, uh, like, little 
detages or montages or episodes and it honestly looks promising um the editing too is not hard it's just like any other call of duty it just looks a little different now with air support and the chem strike air support i i love it because they're they're barely in call of duty like it's there but it's not there people are like it's gonna get shot out the air or it's not gonna get many kills or whatever so they don't use it anyway but if they get it then they feel happy and it's not overpowered so it's fair to everybody else it's just not overpowering that's what i love because people would sit there and it would make people camp and everything just to get that uh ac-130 or that uh chopper gunner in mw2 modern warfare 3 and all the color duties that were based on air support kill streaks now the chem strike is just like uh the nuke or the moab it uh blows up the map changes the map uh drastically and actually i like that because you know it changes the map but it doesn't end the game which makes it you know different because your team or the guy that got the chem strike on your team might have done good on that part of the map but as soon as he calls it in bam done it's just it, your team starts winning because the map changed and he's not used to it but guys that's really all i have to say about the game um please rate and subscribe and uh get ready to see some more ghost content but yeah, guys, peace.